Hey there everyone, my name's Chris, welcome back. Got another gear overview video today. We'll take a look at the Wire Assault Systems DCS plate carrier. Now, I did a review on the basic carrier itself a little while back. You can click just here on the carrier there and that'll take you to the review. But this is going to be the actual like, setup of it, what pouches are put on, why they work, why I think they work, all that sort of stuff. So start from the front, nothing up on the chest. You've got Velcro there for name tapes and stuff. I find as soon as you put pouches up in here, then you're generally going to have mags in this area. Put them on your belly and then you try to grab them up and then we've got this pouch in the way up here and it, it just gets in the way. So I generally only, I'll have like a name tape on there. So yeah, just keep that area clear of pouches. And then you've got good access to the magazine, or in this case, uh, a pistol. The magazine pouches, I wanted to be able to use this with ARs, AKs, uh, 7.62x51 NATO weapons like the G3 and the Fowl, all that sort of stuff. So I've got the Tacos, they are really good pouches, really secure, really fast to access, really good retention of the magazines despite the fact the access is so quick. A couple of them on there uh, and uh, they just, they just do, the, do the job really well. This thing here, this is the H style Molly mount from Chico. Holsters um, for the RTI system. What you do is take a holster, it uh, could be a G code holster, it could be a Serpa, it could be a Safari Land. Uh, all you just need is this little aluminium hanger. Pick up one of them and then you can fit any of those holsters for whichever kind of handgun you want straight onto the PALS. Really quick and easy. So just clip the mount open. Press it in, down. It's a little bit awkward in this particular setup to reach the locking bar because of where I sit it, but then uh, it's, it's still pretty quick uh, comparatively speaking. And there you go, that's a, a 1911 Serpo right there, so you can just draw it and get the out and shoot it in nice and quick right there. And then uh, if you're done with that particular holster, it comes off as easy as that, you switch to another handle. This is the uh, hydration tube for a, a source. Two liter bladder. Just use the little Velcro retainer here. This is the uh, the routing system. It's just webbing the Velcro, and it helps control and manage uh, comms cables and hydro tubes, as in this case. The cover on it is uh, from hydrationtubecovers.com. Uh, really simple, right? Uh, <laughs> they, they are really nice. They, they only cost a couple of dollars, and you can put whatever camo you like onto the actual tube for your hydration bottle. Kept these areas uh, clear. I've talked about this in other videos in the past. Because generally, I will have some sort of other kit on a belt below the plate carrier, and then you might have um, pistol mags or something. Uh, you know, if, if you didn't have a holster on here, you might have a, a holster in this kind of a region. So if you keep these areas clear directly on this side of the of the of your 12 o'clock of your front, keep them clear. Then when he goes to pull kit out of that belt line. And you've got no obstructions. However, obviously, if you didn't want to wear it with a belt, and if I change my mind in future, I want to change the setup, I can move pouches here so they're easier to access without trying to go around and then just not wear a belt. On this side, we've got a uh, small vertical utility, adaptable tailor. Nice and simple, works good. You can put like a radio in there, belt for a loop for patches and blood types and course lines and all that sort of shit. Good general utility pouch, fits in the cover run well. This is a fold up dump pouch from Warrior Assault System. When you're actually wearing it, you can just grab it and rip it down, it opens a lot quicker. But you can see it opens and you can get a good amount of magazines in it. And the good thing with this one is it's got like a, a plastic loop inside the opening, so it stays open. So it's really, it's really quick and easy to just push, push for empty magazines straight in there. Hydration carrier from Patrol Instant Gear, love these things, nice and short, no overhang at the bottom, doesn't stick over the top, just fits really well, really high quality, fits that source 2 litre bladder extremely nicely, it's just that system there. This is the Velcro version, so uh, but you can buy one without the Velcro if you don't need it. I just don't tend to have like uh, some sort of other morale pack. I mean, you can never, it's airsoft, right? You can never have enough morale pack. On this side, 
this is just a, a medium, small slash medium utility from Mars tactical gear. Again, if you want to be able to carry your your wallet or your phone around with you, maybe, and you want to map away, it can just go down there. That's what I tend to do. If you want spare gloves, food, uh, you can put very small amounts of liquids in there. Medical kit is a big one. Uh, small radios, whatever the hell you want in a pouch like that. Batteries, nice and simple. This sort of stuff. You're not going to ever need instant access to it, so you can put it back here out of the way in a zipped pouch. Uh, so it's there when you need it, but you won't be able to get to it too fast, but it shouldn't really matter anyway. It's not that sort of gear. Probably will do an update to this uh, play carrier in a fairly near future. Pick up buying some other bits, some upgrades, swap some the pouches around, so that's why I wanted to cover how it's set up now. Just to sort of document that, show you guys uh, one setup that does work, and I find it's pretty good. Um, one thing I would probably change, I think, is to put a couple of pistol mags just here with the utility pouches around more to the front and then not run any kind of belt line with it. You just have your pistol itself, your rifle mags, your pistol mags, all straight there and you know, that's everything you need most of the time. And, uh, it's, and it's all in easy reach. And if you're not running a belt then uh, it doesn't matter about that obstruction that you're having in that area. So it would work well for that. Obviously when that video goes up, it'll come up in the YouTube feed if you're a subscriber. Um, I'll post it on the Facebook page for the channel. As I do with all my uploads, a link to that is going to go down in the description box below. Thanks for all the, uh, all the subs out there, all you guys that thumbs up and cues and all that stuff. It's really appreciated. And uh, just cheers for watching, basically guys. I'll see you next time.